Hey, what's up guys and welcome to another quick update on the Wave project. As you can see, my background has gotten a lot cooler because I now have a cool Super Nintendo uh, poster graphic. Um, so I'm kind of decorating my office a little bit more and trying to make it look a little bit more geeky retro. Uh, anyways, let's get back to the, uh, the project. So the last couple of weeks I've been working on notifications, uh, announcements, and uh, user profile photos. So uploading the photo and cropping the photo. Uh, a lot of these functionality is going to save you a lot of time building out your software as a service. So let's go ahead and jump into a demo of this functionality. Okay, so let's jump right into the new functionality. So uploading and cropping the user profile photo, if we go to our settings, and you can see here that we can upload a new photo. And then if I select my photo, the user can now choose to crop the image or move the image. So that way they can have their profile photo look however they would like. And this is just going to save you a lot of time because I can't tell you how many times I've had a user upload an image that's way too tall or way too wide. So now allowing them to crop the image and save, you can be sure that it's going to look good on your site. Okay, now let's move on to user announcements or announcements. Let's say that I go to my admin and I have a new button over here on the left called announcements. And you can see I already have one announcement on here. But let's say that maybe we release a new feature or uh, maybe we had a problem with our software and we need to let our users know that it's been fixed or any kind of announcement that you can think that as the site owner, you would need to communicate with all of your users. Well, you could click on add new. And let's just go ahead and call this test notification. And this description is just going to be a little description about uh, what they can expect when they click on the announcement. So this announcement will tell you about a new feature. I'll say yada, yada, yada. And then here we can have the body of the announcement. And this is possibly if you release a new feature. You also want to include some screenshots. You could then click here to upload an image and just have a lot more information about this uh, feature or whatever the announcement is that you want to make. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and just paste that in there just so we can give it some, some body content. So now if I click on save as a user, if I'm going back to the dashboard, I can then see I now have this new notification over here. So I can then click on that and it will take me to the notification. And now you can see if I go back to the dashboard, the notification is no longer there. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete that my user has read that announcement just so I can show you if I were to reload, then we will get that notification again. So the user could then choose to just click here and close it. And they will not be notified about that announcement again, until you have a new announcement that you want to show to your users. Okay, and lastly, I want to talk about the new user notifications. So up here we have the notifications that users can get inside of your application. So say maybe a user responds in a forum thread and somebody else replies to them, they may want to receive a notification so they can click on that notification and see what the reply is. So using the Laravel notifications, you can easily create a new notification with the artisan command. So let me go ahead and just create a new notification. And all of this is documented in the Laravel documentation about how to leverage notifications. It will also be documented in the Wave documentation about how to use notifications specifically for Wave. So let's go ahead and open up the code real quick. And you can see that we have a new notification in our app notifications test notification. And we can choose multiple ways for the user to be notified, such as mail or even Slack. But in this case, we're going to say that we want this to be stored in the database. So then we can remove this to mail. And we'll need to fill out some data in this to array. So the things that we're going to have in here is the title. And this is going to be the title. And then we also want to have an image. And this could be maybe an icon that you want to use, or it could even be the user avatar. So in this case, I'm just going to use the default user avatar. 
and then we need to pass the body of the notification. And I'll just say, this is the body of the notification. And lastly, we need to provide a link. And this is the link when the user clicks on the notification where they will go to. So in this case, I'm just going to have them go to google.com, but probably you would want this to go somewhere inside of your application. So if it was a forum thread that somebody replied to, you'd probably want to provide the link to the forum thread. So what you can do is to make this dynamic, you can pass actually this title, image, body, and link into this notification. But in this demo, I'm just going to show you a very basic example of using it, and that's why I've hard-coded these examples. So then let's say that I create a new route, and I'm just going to create a simple notification whenever I hit a route. I'm just going to say create notification. And obviously, you probably wouldn't create a route specifically for this. This would probably happen after a user performs some kind of action. But just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to create a route to create a notification. So I'm going to say for the authenticated user, I want to notify them. And I want to pass the new app HTTP or app notifications slash test notification. So let me save that. And now I'm going to go to the create notification route and create a few notifications. So I'm going to just create four notifications. And if I go back to my dashboard, then you can see here we have this number four over the notifications icon. And sure enough, we have four notifications. We can then click on one of them and click mark as red. And now you can see that the counter goes down to two. So if we were to go back to the dashboard, we can see that we now have two notifications left. And if we mark them all as red, we could also click on it and it will take us, of course, to Google. But then we, if we mark them all as red, then sure enough, it'll show that we're all caught up. So that was just a quick demo of cropping the user profile photo, announcements, and notifications. Uh, if you do have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section, and I will talk to you in a future video.